um, I have like tissues for my tissues my <laughs> oh, scary. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, it <coughs> I'm not confident you want to do videos. 3 40 in the morning, my sleeping pattern is messed up. Like, I've realized that I can't study at home properly. I, I feel like I just need to get like a desk and be in my own room because my house is too noisy. As you can see, I'm trying to study, but. I go by Queen Anzino. Yes, I did change my name from the other video. I feel like Queen Anzino just sounds well because you know I'm a queen or whatever, you know. <laughs> um, as you can see by today's title, I'm just gonna be explaining to you guys how I organize my chemistry folder. I don't think it's like really good. Like I've seen other girls in my classes, and their one looks really good but i guess here's mine so i first tell you by which books i use i use this book really this good one. um in school we got one it was um in school we got one it was this one this book is all right it has really good examples i would say it has really good examples but i just feel like this this book is just a bit clearer to get me like i use this to write my notes i don't really write notes like that but i use this one to write my notes and then this one the revision guide just to like go over like my videos um yeah okay this is my chemistry folder it's not that big and i only have one i know that other youtube is like um this is my first physical but no, <laughs> this is my first physical only folder and I got an, oh, another inorganic in that. Sorry, I ain't got one. <laughs> I only got one. So, um, first, I hope you guys can see because I'm really tired. I just hope everything can just go well because oh, I'm just <laughs> leaky. Um, first is my vision cards. People call it flash cards. Anyway, yeah. anyway, I've got my revision cards and I've got, um, what are these called? Separators? Separators? Separators, yeah. And it's got like all the. This is so, this is, I'm so sweet. This is so bad. And it's got all the topics. So you've got atomic structure, um, amount of substance, bonding, energetics, la la la. And then the first thing in each is I printed this. It's from a level chemistry.com or something like that. Like the web has called A Level Chemistry. I'll link every night you down below. What I normally do is I have that and then like I have my notes. I don't really write that much notes. I don't find it that useful if I'm being honest. I feel like I prefer having questions, I prefer doing questions, like I understand it more than I do questions. So I don't really look over my notes like that. I feel like the rest of some classwork in there or whatever. I feel like my notes got serious from, I would say bonding, when we started learning new new content like um, random our forces, dipole, dipole, stuff like that. I feel like that's when I started writing notes. Um, so let me show you my top my folder from there. So first, I always have this specific. Actually, let me show you. No, this is not. You're not very good example. Let me show you a topic. Okay, a topic I done recently by myself. Um, not by myself, but like gone over. Also energetics. So first of all, I have my specification. So um. What I do is I would I first look at my specification, then I write notes on it. Then I'll do um no I write notes using the book and this like this um let me take out this I printed it out and just got like key things that I just highlight and write and I make sure I have it in my notes. After that. I do um, some exam questions. 
I use the A level chemistry website that I was telling you guys about. We'll do the assessed homework and yeah, see how we like. Because there's two, there's assessed homework and there's assessed, there's assessed homework and there's test on it kind of thing. So I'll do the assessed homework and see what area I struggle in, what areas I am doing well in. And then um, I don't do the test straight away. I'll give like a week or two to see if I actually retain the information. So um, before I do the test, what I would do is I would write on my actual specification sheet, like the answers to what you need to know. For example, there will be like standard enthalpy of combustion and I'll write what it is. <coughs> I'll write what it is on that side. You get me? You know that when they say students need to be able to blah blah blah, and I'd write the answer of what they want me to be able to do to so make sure. So then I get, so then I make sure every point of the specification is covered. I don't know why I'm out of breath. I think she just went to get my phone up. <laughs> yeah, um, that's basically it. My phone was not so be disappointed, but my phone was not fancy like that. And you know how people have that um, going to school folder, like the death folder. I don't have that. I have this hang on. I have like these things. I got them for like fifty p. Wilkinson, Wilco, whatever you guys call it. And I just feel like for chemistry, just bring this. I don't really have a folder like that. Not because it's heavy. It's because I'm lazy. If I'm being honest. Like um, I have like teachers for my teachers. Do. <laughs> scary. Oh, scary. Two teachers for chemistry, maths, and like three for French, and then I just put all of the teachers' work in this like small thing. But like chemistry, for example, if we're doing the bonding and analytics, for example, for, like with two different teachers, I'll just pull it all in this. Then at the end of the week, I'll just put it in my big folder. But I won't bring an actual folder into school like i just have one of these for every single college that i have during that day but the only thing with this is if you forget at home you basically lost in class you're not lost in class but like this is your folder to you know what i say like it's essential if you got to use this method which i recommend yeah that's basically it mate it's really a short video um there's not much for me to say just my folders to be honest like I don't know what to say. Oh, my notes, how I make it. Um, like I said, I don't use the books, but I also use YouTube videos. Cause I feel like a lot of the YouTube people, like not the, like people that teach me the actual content, I feel like they know what the examiner wants as an answer. For example, they, they'd be like, oh, um, in, pre in other exam questions, like throughout the years, they, um, usually ask this question. I feel like when I watch them, I know what to look out for, if that makes sense. I feel like watching the people is really good. And make sure you know your experiments. Like, I like watching the experiments, like, again and again, and, like, making notes and making sure um, I'm able to understand the little questions when they're like, oh, um, oh, why? Um, like, without changing this experiment, how can you improve, blah, 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 like, just questions that, that like, normally catch people out. I feel like I'm not speaking English properly. I feel like I'm just so tired. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. I should start with that. I should start with that. Hoping you guys are having a blessed week. And, um, hope you guys are doing better than me. Like, you're actually sticking to the school thing because it's Sunday. I don't know what the day is, I can't lie. Sunday, 10 to 3, 4. I have a good time. <laughs> it's 10 to 4. Um, but I am going to pattern this week. I am going to get back on track by God's grace. I just feel like it just all been overwhelming just this week. A lot of things have happened. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, short video about how I'm organising my folder. If you've got any questions, Feel free to get on my socials, email me, whatever suits you, or write a comment down below. I will reply to Um, Hope you have a blessed week. See you in my next video. Toodles! Baby. I feel like I'm, I still don't know what my school 
but like I shout out to my school they're doing the best like the teachers are emailing us seeing if we're okay or getting like inspirational motivational things to our emails but like I'm confused on what's going on like one minute we're doing this and then we're doing that and then we're doing that because it's different teachers different teachers doing their own different methods and it's just a bit like all over the place and I feel like it's not just like the kids, even the teachers are having to adjust to this different method. Like teachers have, um, teachers have children, they have families, they have things going on at home. And so, and so does us as children, we've got families, we've got stuff going at home. Some people may not even have access to like computers or um, like fast internet, like a lot of factors are, um like take into place in this type of circumstance and obviously it's not really their fault but like i don't know i don't know what to say and like shout, shout out to the schools that are that are supporting people like i know some schools if you haven't got laptops or computers in your house they'll let you borrow it which i think is so cool because like you're helping the child in a way